Yo, yo, what's good? Welcome to Crash Enemies episode, episode 115. <laughs> I knew L was going to get your attention. That boy's such a hater. Welcome, bro. nigga. First day, first day, first day, don't, uh, they make fun of you, then they want to be like you, man. But anyway, welcome to episode 115 of Crash Dummy. When they podcast. made fun of fat kids, ain't nobody, uh, that was real. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all niggas stink. <laughs> I'm flat, flat. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, there was a Patreon episode that came out Monday, so make sure you guys go subscribe to the Patreon. Um, subscribe on YouTube. Rate us on Apple and Spotify if that's possible. Yep. Leave us uh, the little ratings and say something nice. Um, but yeah, what have we got today? Uh, shit, man. I ain't <laughs> write down no notes for this shit. Just all vibes. I went to a wedding this weekend. Uh, one of my best friends, Ellie, got married to uh, Andy. And th- the wedding was beautiful. But what, <laughs> what I want to get to the part right here, right? Mm-hmm. To like show the sign of love for each other, they like planted a tree. That's going like out, obviously outlast them in life. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? That's kind of crazy to say, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just like they planted a tree, and I just like I think that's so much better than like getting a street name. Like I would love like for somebody to plant like a bunch of trees and be like these are patch trees, and I think that's dope because like obviously trees live longer than humans, and it's just something that's going to outlast you. You're going to know where it's at, and that's what I would want if I ever got. Famous enough to where someone wanted to name a street after me, I'm gonna be like, I'm good. I want some trees. A tree over a, a street? Hell yeah, because you never know what the street is gonna like have. What do you mean? Like, you think Martin Luther King know that his streets is all fucked up? Um, like, if you go on Martin Luther King, they trying to send you with, where he at and shit. Yeah. Like, come on now, like y'all niggas, this is supposed to be Martin Luther King Street, y'all over here shooting? Like, dude, no, no. I ain't know. Why are you grabbing your belly? <laughs> my, my, my fingers got cold. My eyes are big. <laughs> Bro, I'm looking at this man go. Key, like going under his like stomach fat. Just living his fingers. <laughs> nigga. nigga, thank you. Good heat. <laughs> nigga, think you're a kangaroo. Oh. Nigga. <laughs> nigga, got, nigga, think he got a pouch. <laughs> Anywho, <laughs> well, he's just love handles his hand warmer. <laughs> like, what's going? On? Like, warming your fingers is crazy. Y'all gotta try it with them little nubs y'all got. Man, whatever you do, <laughs> you so close to making this whole thing uncomfortable. <laughs> anyway, um, anywho, moving on. Shout out to Ellie and Andy. I want a tree. Um, I don't want no street. I don't want no Martin Luther King type street and shit. I don't know what niggas gonna be doing on my street after I die. I know my tree going to be decent. That's all I got to say. <laughs> yeah, all right. Once well, we start hating on you, you got ops. And they say, hey, we about to go cut, uh, this, tree cut this tree down. <laughs> Axe this shit down. Oh, that's crazy. Is that crazy? <laughs> that's actually kind of crazy. If they though. take a street sign down, they got to, it's a city thing, so they're going to put it right back up. Mm, nigga, chop my tree down. I'll be sick as fuck. <laughs> or, niggas spray what? Pa- or spray paint on your shit. Nah, if the niggas do that, then it's, it's warfare over a tree. I kill over a tree. Spray paint on a tree? Yeah. I'll kill somebody. <laughs> or then you're gonna have the or you have the little protesters that tie yourself to your tree. The tree huggers? Oh no, um, no, 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 that's different, right? I did that's why I say I could never be with uh PETA or yeah. the tree huggers. I just like smack the shit out of one of them niggas. <laughs> if I was wearing like a chinchilla and somebody uh put red paint on, on my chinchilla. I'm gonna put red paint on they shit too. <laughs> and it ain't gonna be nah, paint. They, they do be extreme with that shit. I don't know what I'm saying. That red paint shit, it's like, don't, I just don't like being touched when people are like, no, no reason. Like, no and, the, and the thing about protesting with the animals <laughs> thing, I'm all for like, you like, know, there's a lot of people out here just like killing animals for sport. Like, or just being cruel, even yeah. like at those places where they hold the animals and stuff yeah. like that, like close The Tiger and, King. Yeah. yeah. You see that shit like, <laughs> yeah, I, I understand that. There's people out here that do animals wrong. There's people out here that just like hunting for like niggas hunting a lion. Like, nigga, why? <laughs> um... And then get mad when they get killed by one. <laughs> it's always get killed. Well, then I guess they can't get mad if you get killed. Huh? 
And just never really be like, dudes be like, these are my babies. They could snap my neck at any time. It's just like, yeah, I see you in three years when they actually do it. <laughs> this nigga hang on with wolves and shit. Some of them animals be tamed though. Like they huh? actually no. Be yeah, they're tamed. The no. They're tamed until their instincts kick in one random time. Like everybody has like there's people out here with golden retrievers, the nicest dogs known to man. And I bet you everybody that's owned a golden retriever for a long time can remember one time, like, damn, one time my dog spazzed out. Yeah, but the golden retriever ain't got no killer instinct, so he might have like, you know what I mean, nibbled on your finger. You like, ah, damn, mm-hmm. and you snatch away and like smack the golden retriever away. But like, nigga, when a monkey start ripping your face off, nigga ain't just gonna say, ah, <laughs> damn, like what the fuck. <laughs> and monkeys literally rip people's faces off. I thought that was like fake. Uh, hell yeah, I bro, the strong as hell. Yeah, the bro. orangutans too, the big goofy looking ones too. <laughs> That's it, crazy. Like the goofiest monkey is like the the, the most terrifying. I know one. orangutan look a lame as fuck. Yeah. too. <laughs> nigga always looks sad. Yeah, looking arms longer than my whole body head ass. <laughs> Long head ass. <laughs> always sitting down head ass. <laughs> Orangutan's ugly as fuck, but powerful too. Yeah. So you can't really sneak this on them too hard. <laughs> no. They're the type of animal you are shooting. They just keep walking forward, trying to walk you down. I'll be like, God damn. Uh, what's it called? It um, Lil Tay's not dead. Oh yeah, yeah! Shout out to Lil Tay. Yeah, so publicity stunt? Question mark. He said she got hacked. That's such a weird account said, to like. Says she has a co- uh, a coin that's coming out too. Yep, Lil Tay coin. Yeah, so you buy that shit, you dumb as fuck. <laughs> yeah, is anybody still buying these celebrity crypto stuff? That's, like y'all deserve to get your money taken. But that was crazy because when I first saw it, I did think I was like, "Damn, she died," and it said something happened to her brother too. He alive too, right? Yeah, I think he's alive so too. So they both alive. So, so it might alive. be some. Yeah, it might. It, it sounded. But like, they did trick the one news outlet that nobody ever tricks. What? Is TMZ? Yeah, they got. Because usually when TMZ say you dead, nigga, you, you dead. dead. Yeah, like you're dead. Like these, obviously, you seen TMZ with the Kobe situation, how ruthless they are. So when they report some shit, yeah, it's like damn that shit on TMZ, like. Even when the Kobe news first broke, uh, Mac Miller news fo- first broke, I ain't believe. Nope, not believing it, not believing it. When you see that TMZ one, you're like, oh, shit. Mm. Damn, this shit hit a little bit different. Yeah, well, at least she's uh, alive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even remember what she was famous for, but. Uh, oh, yeah. Saying nigga. Huh? Saying she- nigga. No, that's it. <laughs> what? She was just flexing on people. She was like, remember, she was arguing with like um, Bad uh, Baby, what Bobby, whatever her name is. She was arguing with Woe Vo, Vicky and all them. Oh, she yeah. She said, Y'all broke. I just, I just flexed on y'all. I just bought $3,000 in cash. You know, that, that, that type of shit. Oh, she was just like a little kid flexing yeah, on Yeah, a little kid yeah, flexing yeah. on these like. Man. Y'all just hating on Lil Tay because I got a Lamborghini and then she pulls up in the Lamborghini. I, th- I heard her parents pulled her out of that because they feel like it was like her brother, affecting her. Yeah, and her brother was the one that was like, they started showing behind the scenes stuff of like her brother like coaching the girl through everything. Like, no, you got to say more like this. You got to say more like that. Oh, it's like, kind of like the baby Gronk situation. Yeah, exactly. The baby Gronk, that shit was crazy. His dad literally in the live interview, no, nah, say it like this. Yeah. Say, they better respect me cuz... Like, no, your son don't talk like that. You don't either, nigga. <laughs> so, y'all need to chill that out. Yeah, all child stars, especially nowadays, mm-hmm. there's like, especially now that the old child stars are coming out about their childhood, now you know for sure, like, there's not that many children with that type of personality. Yeah. So you know the parents are in the background pushing them to be something that they're not. And it has to be. Yeah. Cause I was twelve, nigga. Like I ain't had no fucking personality. <laughs> like, come on now, be real. It was Dragon Ball Z and Grand Theft Auto. Nigga. <laughs> I ain't had no jokes, no, no nothing. But I do think there's way more resources for the child stars now, though, too, to like get help a little bit outside of their, their, you know, their family. Because because back then, no nobody knew what was going on. Nobody knew they were facing the same problems. Yeah, stuff like that. Exactly. So sometimes you going through this shit. You kind of think you're alone in the problem and shit. There's like contracts now for child stars, yeah. like different contracts, so where they can sign something differently, uh, where they're not like something where their parents can't like take all their money. I like just, the I just always wonder like what's the so say your kid you you have a kid right and he's bringing like Ryan's toys the dude's making like twenty million dollars a year on on YouTube's like a ten year old right uh huh he was making them. No, he wasn't making them. He's just reviewing the toys. Oh, that's all he was doing? That's all he does. Man, fuck that little nigga. That was <laughs> that's fine. crazy. Shout out to Ryan's toys. But, um, hey, man, not- so I think so. He's one of the highest paid uh, YouTubers. And so I was thinking, like, so if they're making $20 million, how much money 
can his parents spend of his? Like, what what do I pay? Am I paying myself as a parent? Like, you have a kid. Hell you, yeah. You're the one that's up to LLC. It's like Hell yeah. 100K a month type Hell, of Hell, everything. <laughs> Fuck, I he think, need money. He nine. <laughs> what he need money but for? I, I like, just buy him whatever he want. Like, whenever yeah, he yeah, say yeah. he wants something, I'll that's be what like, I'm I got you. But I think, the, I think the great, the responsibility lies within, like, I know this isn't going to last forever. Mm -hmm. And I want you to be able to get what you earned at some point in your life. So yeah. I think, yeah, they should be putting money up for sure. Yeah, for sure. But, like, who, like, I don't, I might be wrong in this but who dictates that like when the is it parents. the parents because they're a part of the business too they created them and they they like he not paying rent where he at <laughs> he need that back pay little nigga because the thing about kids don't understand the concept of money that's so what like, i'm saying how do you know that the parents there's what rules are there so parents <laughs> i'm being there with my son like listen you've been working real hard so guess what daddy gonna get you a thousand dollars <laughs> And we're going to other take the other $19.99 million <laughs> and we're going to give it to daddy. Because dad, who bigger, me or you or dad? Me or you. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I take the bigger money, little yeah. nigga. Go clean your room. <laughs> I think there's laws where you have to put a certain percentage into a trust or something. Yeah, shit. that's what it always should be a trust fund. So yeah. they can, when they, when they coked out 18 year olds, <laughs> They can get access to this shit. <laughs> they get more coke. But I'm telling you that the those those little clauses to where people uh you can hold money until you're a certain age works well. It worked for Allen Iverson. Yeah. I think like Adidas, was it? No, Reebok had a uh had a thing where he couldn't touch money until he was like fifty. Mm -hmm. And cause they knew at the rate he was spending money that he it could be a possibility he go broke. And now he's 50 and got his, like, obviously got his, his life style is way better than what it was from his plan days. And and now look at him. You know what I'm saying? I seen him uh, at D-Wade thing looking dripped out, healthy. AI, man. Most disrespected player of all time. You think so? Hell yeah. He's definitely, the one thing that uh, AI said, uh, D-Wade said to AI was just true. And every time it's like the culture really from Allen Iverson. Yeah, Allen Iverson and Michael Vick. Yes, they, you can't tell me exactly. Everybody wanted braids. Both of these niggas had braids. It was fast. Al Iverson for sure. And I, every time I think about how everybody's dressing right now and shit like that, it's like no nah, AI really was like went against the grain of the NFL, the NBA and shit like tattoos. That. Everybody yeah, yeah. got tattoos. Everybody wants to be like Iverson, man. Braids, everybody, huh? The AI braids. That's what I'm saying. You had Lil Wayne, Michael Vick, and Allen Iverson all out at one time. You know how bad I wanted a teardrop. Like, come <laughs> on, nigga. <laughs> Please, Pops, let me get one. I want to dress so bad. Huh? I want to braid so bad. Man, found out I was tender-headed. Like, God <laughs> damn. That shit ain't no joke, bro. Man. I'm tender-headed. That shit feel like your scalp finna rip I'm not going to lie, Key. I feel like every time you have braids, it's like it's like two days. Man. <laughs> I've never seen you with braids more than Hell two days. Hell no. I'm too tender-headed, bro. That boy be that switching um, hair like he a GTA character. <laughs> yeah, nigga, keep coming at this <laughs> nigga, hairstyle. He just walking the barbershop like, zip, zip, zip. Like, I never nigga. seen a nigga come in with a fade one week, and then this nigga got Afro in two weeks like nigga what <laughs> <laughs> the funny thing about key key so young that his days ain't as busy yet <laughs> so when the nigga say something he actually go do it this shit is funny as hell because when i say my day so people be like fuck i need a haircut yeah and i'm like damn i got this meeting this meeting this meeting and then i'm like damn maybe i can't get it till friday and i'm talking about this on a monday key talking about man i think i need my haircut <laughs> five minutes later on his story <laughs> Yes, sir. <laughs> Boomerang down. Shout out to Kev, man. Shout out to Kev. Like, damn, this nigga got anything after this? <laughs> <laughs> nigga Key <laughs> just be doing side missions around the city. Like, damn, I'm trying to go see the lake. <laughs> <laughs> nigga went to the state fair yesterday. That's what I said. He asked us. He's like, so y'all don't go to no state fair? <laughs> like, nah, there's probably too many people that know us there. All right, hell yeah. I thought y'all would say that. <laughs> I knew you Two was. hours later, this nigga taking a picture at the state fair's house. This nigga a kid, bro. Oh, no, that shit was ass, bro. Nah, that nigga the, a kid. The rock food. <laughs> the one the food. Yeah, for the food. Hell well, yeah. we, we talked about this on the uh, Patreon episode, but um, the, during because the state fair is in, in uh, Wisconsin right now, and the funniest thing for me is seeing dudes trying to take pictures 
looking tough on a Ferris wheel. Like, you can't look tough on a Ferris wheel. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> Nigga, just say we and call it a day. This shit going too slow. How are you tough? <laughs> That's what I'm saying, bro. And if we're talking about, too, like, the fair rides, it's just not it. Nah, hell no. Nah. <laughs> I'm not watching nobody drag a roller coaster in in a suitcase. <laughs> These niggas got suitcases. I go to work, I come back, and it's a whole roller coaster here. <laughs> like, what are you niggas? <laughs> what is this, roller coaster tycoon? How you niggas? How y'all build this and shit, nah, man? Exactly. And it should be going a hundred miles per hour, <laughs> left and right, and then it's, it'll it's, drop. You got a dude that's an amputee working the yeah. thing. This nigga got one arm. Like, what if this shit it's malfunction? A fucking, it's a fucking fourteen year old running the ride and that's shit. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> then it's, it's somebody that's five four on the ride. I ain't even taking height no more. You like. see a weight capacity and shit. If is this a weight capacity on a scale? And they took. <laughs> on the scale. I'm sorry, if they're weight capacity on a, a, a ride. <laughs> nah, I gotta, I gotta intervene. I did the worst <laughs> shit ever. I felt so fucking bad, Boy. bro. So I was, I was, I made a joke, right? So mm. I got on the elevator, and there was about five people on the elevator, yeah. and I made a joke, and I said, and it was all <laughs> girls, and I'm like, I didn't know the girls. I'm like, obviously, I'm the heaviest person mm -hmm. on. The elevator so i look and i look at it and it said like i think it said like 1500 pounds yeah. is the limit and i got the count and everybody started laughing blah blah and then it came two two big ass people came and cut the elevator off and they jumped on <laughs> and i actually got to like adding up in my head i'm like damn we close <laughs> <laughs> like i'm estimating you you like 420 at least <laughs> I'm like, bro, we was like, it was like 1300, bro. And I'm telling you from like, it took the elevator some like time to like get going. Like yeah. from floor one to floor two was so fucking slow. I'm like, boy, y'all heavy as hell. <laughs> like, please don't do nothing extra. In this. Like, please. He had like a, a Rice Krispie treat in his hand. Like, please don't eat that shit. <laughs> that could be the little thing. The cam uh, What they call the hair on the camel's back. Yeah. <laughs> that could be that could be it right there. I was thinking that too, because like if you get on a, a ride, right, you're about to get on a ride and they say, say you're teetering. Like say they say, hey, the weight limit is, is 380, right? Yeah. And you look like you, you're teetering 380 and tell you, hey, you got to step on the scale. That's like kind of embarrassing, regardless if they say you're light enough or not. Because it's like you're that close. Because say you're 350, I'm like, all right, you're good to get on and shit like that. But I feel like if the weight limit is like 380, if you hover anywhere between like 330 and three that weight limit, you probably should be very wary. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's too close of a margin. Yeah, the only thing I say about like <laughs> people that's like at trying like mad. If you get mad at that, like if yeah. you're three eighty and the ride says you know the limit is three seventy, mm -hmm. and they say you can't get on, then maybe you need to pick a different ride, like a bicycle, my nigga, like <laughs> or a treadmill. How about try that ride where you can? I just I'll go, just go on rides. Yeah, it's not I mean, the end of the day. It's not that fun. Go get your funnel cake and call it a day. <laughs> that but, shit is great. What? A funnel cake? Let's think it's all that. <laughs> Bro, we got strawberries and whipped cream on ours. Mm, I do sound fire. With the powdered sugar. Insane. You eat fruit? <laughs> <laughs> you shave your mustache? <laughs> all right, here we go. <laughs> I'm on that. <laughs> <laughs> I thought no, nah, for real. I actually picked up this nigga key phone. I saw a Batman porn on there. Just, <laughs> Batman fucks dead parents. What the fuck is this? Oh my gosh! <laughs> While wow, the Joker records, this nigga is freaky. What the fuck? That would be crazy. No, no, no. Oh, I saw um, former NFL player Michael Orr. You ever seen the Blind Side Key? Yeah, the big black dude that yeah. got adopted by the uh, fat, I mean the white people. Yep. So he petitioned, he petitioned a court Monday with allegations that Sean and Lee and whatever their name is, the ones that adopted him, you know the movie, um, he said they never adopted him. They tricked him into signing a document making them his conservators and enriching themselves. That's crazy. So he's been saying this, and I always remember like he never liked the movie. Yeah. I always thought he didn't like the movie because they portrayed him as like being really stupid in mm -hmm. the movie. Like they had that boy like like not even being able to like, like just uh, like a empty, uh, brainless like, giant. Yeah, like a big stupid motherfucker. They had him looking like. But I'm <laughs> like, ain't no way he in hell he got into 
Ole Miss ain't break that many rules yeah. into getting them in there. So yeah. So that whole movie a lie. Racist. <laughs> you saw a big so, black. So, so ba- Sandra Bullock's character is really not good. No, exactly. They tricked Damn. them. You think they knew that? Like the no, nah, hell no. Nah. I mean, hell no. Nah. I mean, they don't care either. Yeah, they do. It's a story. Care. Maybe she do care, but it like it's more of a story now. I wonder why he took so long to say something. Maybe they got something. Maybe you know they took some of his money and he don't know where it's at or something like that. So or he, no random thought I just had. What? If and, Disney Channel still shows uh really good like Disney Channel movies that just be on Disney Channel. I don't know. Cause you know, for us, because I was just the, what made me think about that is I saw uh, remember Holes, mm. the guy that made uh, Zero, the guy that played the Zero, his name is Chloe something. They did like a his name one, is Chloe, yeah, Chloe Thompson, Thomas or something like that. His Chloe, name? yeah, the Cleo, guy? Cleo. Oh, oh, I'm like nigga, that's a big difference. Cleo, Chloe, same. <laughs> no, <thing>. it's boy, <laughs> girl. Oh. There's, there's, I don't know that many boy Cleos, but I do. Oh, okay. But they did like a little twenty year anniversary of the the movie Hole, so it was kind of cool seeing all like the old characters kind of get back together and like talk about it. But um, yeah, I don't know if Disney Channel still has those type of movies where like we had like a uh, Cadet Kelly. Mm. Is you know what, what's Saturday, that Mermaid like, movie? Fuck. What's the Mermaid? Little mermaid. Huh? <laughs> this nigga, Keith, man. Shut the fuck up. Bro. Are you serious? <laughs> <What's laughs> <It's not> <laughs> I'll find it's, it. it's a dude that turned into a mermaid. Like he was a good swimmer, and then he started getting scales and yes. shit all over his body, gills and shit. Yeah, was, was that the name of the movie? Gills? <laughs> gills? No, I was looking at the same thing. And it said, I think it was an ocean. It said uh, Little Mermaid. No, <laughs> no, no, no. I know what you're talking. No, shut up. <laughs> it's not Little Mermaid. Man, let me find this shit. But yes, so movies like that. There was that mermaid one. There was a what's the other one? Blink, Brink. Brink, yeah, Brink was a good one. It was one where uh, the, they wherever, don't got that shit. He no signed more. a blank check and shit like that. Oh, the thirteenth year? year, yeah, yeah, the thirteenth year. He turned into a mummy. That shit was dumb as fuck. <laughs> Never <laughs> seen that. The bro. whole concept. Nigga couldn't even get in the water. That's it what was, I'm saying. He was like picking between. Wasn't it like picking between doing like the national uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. swim thing and, mm-hmm. and not. Cause then he turned good, and then he was like, oh, "Everybody was cheering, was like, hold yeah. on, this nigga, a mermaid. I'm about to Bro, kill the this nigga." Of Arab butt is still kind of funny. That's to what me. I'm saying. I'd have locked that nigga up. There's Man. no way. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have had a treat in my pocket, yeah. tossed it the other way, stole the ball. <laughs> <laughs> they can't even keep making us believe a fucking dog was that. And when is he it. down? <laughs> I'm so sick of that shit. Like in Changing football, the rules up for him. And that's shit. what I'm saying. He already running on all fours. When is he down? He ain't got no fucking knees. Yeah. <laughs> now if I would have choked this nigga out Everybody been looking at me like I'm crazy Cause he not gonna stop running You know what I'm saying You know dogs gonna stop running yeah. Only way I can get him to stop running You know what I'm saying You gotta watch this nigga You guys I ever would... seen Air Buddies? Air Buddies? Is that no. like an Air Bud Yeah sequel, Whatever Yeah sequel yeah That boy watching like dog movie. porn <laughs> Air Buddies is crazy They're a superhero There's eight dogs one girl <laughs> What the fuck is going on? That's insane. <laughs> so, uh, it, it's, is it like Air Buds? It's just puppies or some shit? Yeah, it's like a bunch of puppies and they're superheroes and they go say they owners, I think. <laughs> <laughs> shit sound like a, a slave movie. <laughs> Niggas is so bored. That rider strike is hitting hard. <laughs> Man, what the fuck? Ooh, Air Buddies? Yeah. Everybody, that shit I sound. think it, I might be wrong with the name, but I know that's something. <laughs> that nigga, let me look this shit up. <laughs> Air Buddies is insane. Nah, Air Buddies. I used to work, watch it when I went to daycare. <laughs> Wait, this you watched this when you were a kid? Oh, Air Buddies yeah. is a real thing. I told you. Oh, it's just the little dogs and shit. Let me see. I and just they, said and that, they all play sports and they all play different sports. Oh, I think I've seen that. <laughs> See you niggas always talking shit. Oh damn, <laughs> nigga Pat, no, he's in it. He said, "Oh, they got, oh. they got space buddies, snow buddies." <laughs> hey, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> snow buddies, <laughs> snow buddies, <laughs> snow buddies. <laughs> oh, I thought they said snow buddies. What the fuck are you watching? <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, we can get right on to listener calls, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Yo, what's good? Welcome to Crash Me's podcast. What's up? Hello? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Yo, what's good? Soft spoken ass nigga. Why can I hear myself? Yo. Yeah. 
Okay, we can, art. no, we <laughs> wait. Yeah, whatever you Nigga, did. Your hair was in the sink. <laughs> I, was, I was on speaker, man. I was on speaker. I was on speaker. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ask uh-huh. the question. <laughs> 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 nigga is so random, uh, bro. They talking uh, about his uh, head uh, was uh, in the sink. Like, what? Nigga? No, it's alright. Alright, alright, alright. Ask me the question. Ask me the question. Ask me the question. Oh no, nigga, shut <laughs> your ass up, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Go train that sink. Hold on, man. Uh, okay, what do you need revenge for? So one time I was I was I was walking I was walking down like I was walking down the street and shit, right? <laughs> some some people I had problems with, they ran up on me, they fucking jumped to me, they they beat the shit out of me, they fucking stole my shoes, they stole my my fucking wallet, and then they stole my hat too. And then what happened is that one of them, one of them, one of them started grabbing on my dick. I don't know why. I don't know why. So I mean, I got violated. I got. And I still. I still got back. This happened like this happened like last week. <laughs> Listen, hey, I, I will give you some real advice. Don't go back where them niggas at. <laughs> nah, bro. Like, it, 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 hell yeah, no. Climb down a hey. hey, check that out. As it lost, my boy. Hey, it's <laughs> over. Hey, them niggas could have did way worse. It sound like. Hey. Hey, I'm letting you know now. Listen, if a nigga can take your hat. <laughs> You know how bad no, somebody no, got a no, beat. It wasn't one. It wasn't one. It was five. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. It don't sound like you got enough in your arsenal to go back over there. Listen, if a nigga can take your hat, nigga, they, they have so much the control. Is, I was walking to my girl's house. What happened? I was, I was walking to my girlfriend's house. <laughs> Off the tree. What did she say? She didn't come out and help. Not, not. No, I wasn't even there yet. And that said, at, at that point. I was so beat up and I was so hurt. I just didn't go no more. I canceled. That's what I'm saying. Oh, hey, hey, man, I, was, I was the walk home. Hey, what I can say, do like the, what the rest of America do. Become a cop and go get them niggas back. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah. That's what the rest of the niggas that get bullied do. <laughs> How about I become a cop and pull you over later, Dwayne? <laughs> Oh man! All right, yeah, bro. you know you're right. Hey, I'm I'm gonna become a cop, and I said I once I'm gonna pull him over. What up? What up? What up? What up? What up? Welcome to Crash on these podcasts. What's good? No much. What y'all to? Shit, chilling. Oh, soft spoken ass nigga. Nah, oh my god! <laughs> Polite ass nigga. Um, hey Pat, what up? I'm an audio listener. I can tell that nigga. Hey Pat. <laughs> <laughs> hey, fuck you, Pat. <laughs> <laughs> nigga cuss like a Disney character. <laughs> um, now I got a question for you. What's up? Wait, which question I asked you? <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold I on. I think it was the one. I got like, you. I got you. I got you. I got you. What's the worst purchase that you've ever made? All right, the worst, <laughs> the worst purchase I ever made. Hear me out. Hear me out. No. All right, so. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to say that just to start it off before. <laughs> Go ahead. Anyways, um, all right. So I was dating this one girl for a year and a half, right? Um, and we had broke up because she had found that I was cheating on her. Um, and we got back together, and I found out she was fucking my cousin. So after I found that out, I was like, I was like, damn. So <laughs> I was chilling one night. And if you're from Texas, you from Dallas, if you're from the DFW area, you know where Harry Hines is. And you know what, like, all the little prostitutes be outside in the Harry Hines area. Yeah, I think all I've right, seen so- Jerry Jones over there before. <laughs> 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 all right, so look, so look. So it, it was like, it wasn't that late. It was probably like 10, and my mom was asleep. And I didn't have a car at the time, so I was like, fuck it, I'm going to just take her car. So I took her car. And I went all the way down to Harry Hines. I was just driving around, and I had a little extra cash in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> what is a little extra? <laughs> How much? Nah, saying a little extra cash for a, a, a human being is crazy. Nah, it's crazy. <laughs> How but, much you have? Listen, hey, we won't speak on prices. <laughs> Nigga, had $20. Nah, you gotta touch the price. Cause hold, on, is, hold on, hold on, hold on. What, what happened? So continue the story. <laughs> 
All right, so, like, I had a little extra cash in my pocket, and my plan wasn't to, like, buy a prostitute, right? I was obviously trying to, you feel me? I was just driving around. Um, <laughs> the game knew you, were, you literally just said it's known for prostitutes, <laughs> and then you go take your daily stroll over where they at. Go ahead. All right, Pat, listen, bro. Listen, listen, listen. All right. So, boom, I hit a Kona, and that Kona, there's, like, there's just, like, be prostitutes on every head, like, damn, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Every last post, every corner. But listen, listen. So I pulled up next to this little light skin baddie, right? <laughs> I pull up. I roll my window down. She said, she said, what you want? I was like, how much? She said, we could talk prices after. I said, all right, get in the car. So my mama got to put, mind you, this is my mama's car. <laughs> nah, this nigga think he on GTA or something. <laughs> Nigga like, talk about on, get in the car. Get in the car. Yo, like, get in the car with that much confidence for a car that's not yours. What I want to know is like, obviously, I've never paid for a prostitute, but I'm guessing if like that's like a red flag to me. If she don't tell you like a price or something, because then she's trying to get you, and then she gonna up the price, and then her pimp gonna come get the rest. <laughs> of <it. laughs> All right, so you, you nah, get in the car. Listen, what happened? But listen, but listen, but listen. What's it called? I wasn't buying the bitch to fuck her. Or the female, my fault. I wouldn't buy a prostitute to fuck. So that's why I say. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is. Crazy. So, like I said, nah, listen, like I said, me and my ex had just broke up. I found out she was fucking my cousin. So, boom, we driving around. I'm smoking. She telling me to, uh, she telling me to hit this one back at me. And I'm like, I'm like, like, I'm, I'm like nervous because I obviously ain't ever bought a human before. <laughs> nah, don't say that. Don't say that. Don't say that. Don't say You got to nah. take that back. Take that. Please say. My fault. My fault. My fault. Yeah, please say psych. Hey, that's her profession, though. No, no, no. Just say. <laughs> buy, just say, like, buy, buy some. Buy, I'd rather you say buy a pussy than yeah, buy yeah, a yeah. human. Like, <laughs> come on. All right. I, I ain't never paid for pussy before. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, no, that so sounded look. worse. Ain't <laughs> <laughs> hey, this nigga say sound terrible? Right, go ahead, we keep interrupting you. My bad. All right, so look, I ain't gonna lie, I'm already hot. I'm tipsy. So boom, we end up parking, and she's like, she's like, so, so what you need? And I'm like, honestly, I'm not trying to do nothing. I'm just trying to talk. And she kind of <laughs> looks at me like. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> Nah, listen, listen. She kind of look at me like, "What?" <laughs> hey, she just wanted to. T- you just want- what's she say after that? I, hey, no, 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 no. I want to say hey, that is cheap t- uh, therapy, though. That's what I'm saying. If, if there would probably hey, be more see, people in y'all, better y'all situations y'all, if they took that. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. It kind of sounds like y'all agreeing with me. Yeah, 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 y'all. y'all, y'all no, me. we agree in your situation. <laughs> you sound like a lame ass nigga that need this. Stop <laughs> but, <laughs> but keep going. What happened? What she said? Uh, after I said that, she kind of just like stood there. She like stepped back, like we was we still sitting down, but she like leaned back and she was just looking at me like if I was crazy. <laughs> I was like, nah. I was like, just hear me out. And then I start dumping everything on her. Like I start spinning. I was like, oh wait, wait. Like you started that. spinning. No, he's Not just saying like, like oh, like, dumping your feelings. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, yeah. yo, is this <laughs> nah, nah. Saudi Arabia. This is- <laughs> <laughs> nah, but I start, I start telling everything. Whoop the whoop. I'm, we made conversation, and at first, she kind of like, she kind of like, you pay for pussy, that pay for a conversation. Mm. So I'm just in there, and then she ended up like, she ended up saying it was cool. I still had to pay for it though. But how much was it? Pretty- it wasn't that much. It was it was one twenty. What <laughs> is that? What she would have wanted, regardless. One twenty. Huh? Is that what? Nah, she, I, I, I don't know. I ain't asking for prices because, like I said, I wasn't paying the fuck. I just, I just want, I just want to let you know how fucked up your plan was. So your plan <laughs> was to get back at your girl by having nah, sex with somebody. Gift, nah. No, I'm just saying, but that's what you're doing it for by having sex with somebody who gonna keep it anonymous anyway. So like, what a what a sex service. Like, you pan to have sex. Shut the fuck up, Pat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right, Brody. Oh, shit, man. I would say have a good one, but, man. Good luck, dude. <laughs> hey, I'm finna, I'm finna go on the podcast. Yeah, oh, yeah. You making it, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Anybody all right. that hey. desperate, definitely making the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> hey, appreciate you coming hey, on Pat. the show. What, what, what? Go ahead. Pat, hold on. How Mike was running a mile and your fat ass was on a bike? Hey, I ran I ran half of it. I can't do 13 miles. 
Plus, Mike, one thing Mike is doing, he's training for pro boxing. I'm only training mm-hmm. to fuck your mom. So it's like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't need to go that long, little nigga. <laughs> Clean your room, bitch ass nigga. <laughs> Yo, what's good? What's up? Yo, welcome to Crash Me's podcast. What's good? Yeah, what's up? Uh, what's up? <laughs> I do. Up for, now I feel you do say what up. Like twice, you said what up? No, I'm just what saying up? they like the when he when he first got on the phone he he answered me like I was some regular ass nigga like <laughs> nigga you on the podcast you man. ain't a celebrity nigga you on the podcast ho ass nigga how about that all right all right all right ask a question nigga <laughs> <laughs> where you from you just Ohio asked two questions in Ohio what what, yeah, what city Dayton Dayton oh, okay okay all right I got a question for you. Let me see what question I asked this whole ass nigga. <laughs> I asked him, uh, "What do you still need revenge for?" My my girl having half a sex with dudes before before we got together. Before you got together? <laughs> yeah, I ain't forget. <laughs> wait, hold on. <laughs> I'm so confused. City boys. Wait, wait. Th- she wasn't your girl then. If you guys weren't together Nah but we knew each other though <laughs> Nah this nigga toxic as fuck Yeah future Hold on hold on hold on So how you gonna get revenge I'm gonna cheat She pregnant right now So she can't really She can't really, she can't really just cheat back She what What the fuck wrong with She's you? what pregnant. pregnant So she can't cheat back Nah not right now What if she still do Bro, uh, see God. See <laughs> nah, this nigga. Nah, nah. nah, some of us should be funny, but nigga, what? <laughs> you know, I'm all for brotherhood. We gotta get some of these niggas off the street, man. <laughs> Starting with this nigga here. Oh my God. <laughs> nigga said she had sex with dudes before we was together. So, revenge, you're gonna cheat on her while she's pregnant. <laughs> That's crazy. Am I wrong? Yes, yes, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah. Hey, appreciate you coming yeah, on the show, wrong. Brody. Oh my yeah. gosh! All right, I got a question for you. Yeah, yeah. What do you still need revenge for? So, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. It was about like two years ago. Yeah, two years ago, I had seen this girl on Instagram, right? And she looks, she like, she looks straight, like you know what I'm saying. And I'm going through like her, uh, I'm going through her profile. And like, I noticed that like, she didn't really have like any like pictures of her in shorts or anything or like a dress or nothing. I didn't really think much of it. You know what I'm saying? So we, uh, she lived like 45 minutes away from me. So I was like, she was trying to link. So I was like, all right, bet. Like, we'll see what's going on. But before we link, I had a uh, FaceTime her. We had talked on the phone like a couple times, but like not like a FaceTime call. So I FaceTimed her, and we talking. We were talking for like two, two and a half hours at this point. And I had been talking to this girl for a couple months, but like this is the longest FaceTime call we had. And my friends was in the call because I had added them, and she was over there talking. And she actually flipped the camera, and like. She had like plastic and I was like, what the fuck? Like, I was like, flip the camera again. So she flipped the camera and she had like two nubs, like in some like plastic legs. And I was like, oh Lord. I was like, you don't got legs. And then my friends in the group chat was like, it was calling her a basketball and like a tater tot and shit. And then like, you know what I'm saying? Like then I I, I felt bad because I was like, I, I mean, she don't got legs, you know what I'm saying? But like, I'm not gonna talk to her, you know what I'm saying? So I was just like, yeah, this ain't gonna work. So I, uh, I didn't, I didn't end up linking with her. Thank God though, because if I had found that out in person, well, I tell. I mean, damn. <laughs> What'd you have done? Her a tater tot. Yeah. Oh, is that cute? Yeah. What up, bro? What the fuck? <laughs> no, yeah, it was coming here, tater tot. And- <laughs> What's funny, bro? Nah, it's just like, you <laughs> like, is that key? And then you just said, what up? Like, you had a question for the nigga. Yeah, he hold on, hold on, hold on, nah, hold on, nah, hold on. I, hold on. So, nah, nah. so, I was just like, damn. Damn. So she couldn't be your better half? 
Fuck no. Why though? What's wrong with you? Man, would you date a girl with no legs, bro? Like, would you hook up with a girl with no legs? Was she thick? But like, I personally, it was like it was. I, like, I didn't know. But you already liked like her, though. Off, like, you already dude, liked her off, before like, the legs thing. Below. Well, he only liked half of her. <laughs> it ain't. Man, he ain't want to date. No, he didn't want to date a starfish, so he. <laughs> <laughs> That's bro. I'm, that's basically what she looked like. I mean, she looked like a starfish. For real. Nah, like, shout out to all the WMPT girls out there, man. There's no shade towards y'all. Nah, no shout out, bro. That was just like you. If you're gonna talk to someone, like that's got to be like no. Hell star, yeah, like, that's facts. That's she was trying to hide the fact that she didn't have legs. Like I wasn't gonna find out eventually. <laughs> <laughs> How we gonna be together but without the, the no thing, legs? The thing though, is her thought process. <laughs> no legs, no legs, her, no yeah, legs, no, so I, legs. I, I was, ooh. Her thought process was probably that. Hey, I'm gonna talk to this guy, and you obviously liked her after talking to her for a while, but you probably would have never gave her a chance if you knew from the bat that she had no legs. Oh, 100%. But that don't make it okay. Like, yeah, I understand it doesn't make it okay. But you did talk to her, and you actually liked her. I, it was just like I talked to her. I didn't like, you know what I'm saying? It was just like a whatever, like a little a Conversation? Little yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. Like, but you were going to go over there. Cool you, were going, person, you were going over there with the intentions on, you know, like hooking up and shit, right? Yeah, he just. I feel like he's not just trying to fuck up his legacy. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't. Oh, legacy. This nigga crazy. <laughs> <laughs> nigga say legacy. <laughs> All right, nah, bro, I'm man. He <laughs> didn't want to date an Autobot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hell no. Whoa. You didn't want to have to put deodorant on her kneecaps before she put it in the... Uh, All right, bro. Make no sense. <laughs> 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 he said kneecaps. All right, bro. Peace. <laughs> All right, homie. All right, homie. Man, yeah, fuck Pat, bro. Audio listeners up, nigga. Hold on. Why you look like that in your profile picture, though? What do you mean? Why do I look like that? They just took a picture of me, bro. What are you talking about? Let me see what this nigga look like. <laughs> are, you, are, you, are you a pro base? Oh, what you play? You play in college? Yeah. Baseball in college? Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nigga like Lil Bill, though. All right, brody. <laughs> Fuck you, nigga. <laughs> Wide nose, sucking up all the white. No, I'm just playing. All right, bro. <laughs> all right, bro. Appreciate it. Shut up, nigga. <laughs> and it's raining all day today, bro. I feel like this is the best day of my life. What, you about to go to sleep or something? No, I just love rain. I've never met a nigga that loves rain. Bro, it's just so therapeutic, like. <laughs> nigga, what you need? <laughs> no, it was what I you going therapy. through? <laughs> Bro, just the sounds of it hitting the concrete and the window, <laughs> how loud it is. Do you like? Are you the type of person that sleeps to like white noise? What is white noise? You <laughs> sleep with a fan on? Yeah, <laughs> no. really loud. <laughs> no, the, yeah. the, the, the kid didn't know what white noise was. I thought it was like white people who yelling. <laughs> <laughs> they just yelling out the doors, <laughs> random shit. Bro. You sleep to white noise? Yeah, <laughs> malarkey. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Jeez, Louise. <laughs> You're sliding on thin ice, buddy. <laughs> Just keep repeating that I over. I heard somebody say, um, I was doing a job, and one of the customers said, yeah, I'm hoping they don't pull any funky business. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck No, nah, funky that? business is crazy. <laughs> yeah, if you hear funky, then you're definitely talking to a cop. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, what are you jive turkeys over here up to? <laughs> Not jive turkeys? <laughs> Not this is a jive turkey. A JT? You never heard of a JT? No, is that a That's crazy. Y'all never seen Semi Pro, though, obviously. The, the Flint movie? Tropics, Will Ferrell, yeah. Yeah, I've seen that. It's like you get called a jive turkey, and then it's like the most offensive thing ever. That's a joke in the movie, but it's over y'all heads. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Nigga named a Netflix movie. No, it's not. It's not? A I mean, movie? No, it's pre- that's a pretty popular movie. It's a popular movie. Semi Pro? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I've, I've seen it. I There's literally. I just don't remember the concept. The replica jersey, you probably seen it before. Say, like, Tropics on it, and it's like the Miami Dolphins colors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You've seen the jersey. That's where, the, that's, that's where movie come from. Oh, yeah. Teach that nigga key something that new every day. <laughs> <laughs> two, no. plus, two plus two is five, also, nigga. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> Say, fuck that. All right, so I heard this. I was listening to the, the Joe Budden podcast, and I heard. Um, them bring up a topic and I want to know your opinion on it too. 
Um, is it appropriate? Is it appropriate to get someone's number? Is it appropriate to give someone someone else's number without asking them, even though you know they might know that person? Hell yeah! Don't give my number out to nobody without like asking me. No, I wouldn't. I oh no, yeah, I get mad. I'm just but saying, no, no, okay, okay. If, if somebody, if somebody that you know that knows me asks you for my number, would you give them my number without telling? Fuck me? no. That's so that's so the rule. So that rule should apply everywhere because you got to give me either a yes or a no. So if I ask you, Aki, if someone ever asks you for your number, I can't give it to you. Correct. Right. All right. Cool. Damn. Uh, we had a party or whatever. Sexy Red just came over to me. It was like, hey. I fuck with y'all podcast. I really want to fuck with Key. You got his number? I'm just like, nah, he said don't give it out to nobody. <laughs> she can follow me on Instagram. Yeah. I'm just saying, what if she like, all right, you ain't give me his number, I'm done. You lost your chance. Well, I got two phones. <laughs> <laughs> Batman, nigga, got a escape route for everything. <laughs> this nigga. <laughs> Nigga so high. <laughs> like, what does that mean? <laughs> the thing, the, how does that help you out in life by having two phones? This nigga, <laughs> Keith, nigga, Keith think he just throw the cop out of the phone to get out of something? <laughs> <laughs> the thing uh, I was thinking though, because say like, because you obviously I would have to text you and like, hey, Pat, this person was saying they can get your number. What happens when you tell me no? <laughs> what, what do I tell that person? <laughs> I'm gonna just be like, I was asking for the number. No, like, I think that's the, I think that's like the funniest thing ever. Uh, that's my like one of my like favorite pranks. Funny Marco does. Mm-hmm. That's why I start. That's why I know Funny Marco from is like from the pranks. You ever seen that one where he like pranking somebody in a Walmart and he acting as like the security guard, but the person that's on the walkie talkie is talking all the shit. Mm-hmm. Then he like, uh, yeah, my boss says y'all can't be over there. And they, they like, why? why? Why your boss saying that? And then he's like, he had a message like, yo, boss, they want to know why you don't want them over here. And then somebody on the walk told you because them niggas look like they stank. <laughs> Get them the fuck out of my store. And then they say some shit like that. But I think I feel like it's the same situation. Yeah, yeah for sure. It's just like, what if I send you a voice message? <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> but that's not a- getting my number. Fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> but like, what do you tell that person though? Like, realistically. In real, I, you gotta lie. <laughs> Shit, hey, I hit you up when he answer. I'll let yeah, you know. Yeah, he still ain't hit me back. He, he still like, ain't hit me my, back. Aren't you his best friend? <laughs> <laughs> I get him O'Reilly number. O'Reilly's? Yeah, O'Reilly's number. The O. Oh, oh right. why? What's the significance behind that? Nothing. They just gonna call and somebody from O'Reilly gonna answer. <laughs> they, get some, they gonna get somebody eight hundred. They gonna give uh, somebody the uh, eight hundred number. Yeah. If you ask a girl for a number, she give you an eight hundred number, like eight zero zero zero. I'm just, just, uh, just, I'm just assume she a hoe. <laughs> <laughs> like damn, your line be that backed up? You need yeah, an eight hundred number. Car. For real God damn Let me invest in this This sounds like you got a lot of customers <laughs> That is investing isn't it Business is booming No that's not investing Marketing When dude pay, pays When the dude pays for like a girl's OnlyFans Yeah that's it No that's not investing No cause there's no return There's no return <laughs> I mean immediate return But you're only buying the product technically yeah. You're not getting anything off the company Exactly yeah, you're buying. Yeah, you're buying a product. <laughs> so y'all be buying products. There you go. No, not y'all. <laughs> who who invented who invented uh, saying hell yeah to things? The devil, Kool Aid man. But I'm just saying what in, <laughs> he never. Key, key, wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. I seen him saying on Family Guy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you think the Kool Aid man say hell yeah on TV? Hell yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, it's remedial, bro. There's so many questions that I should ask you. <laughs> ask me one of them right now. <laughs> <laughs> Name three type of bears: polar bear, black bear, and a brown bear. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> (laughs) 
<laughs> Nigga, you all right? Yes. Uh, Holy oh, fuck. my God. Nigga, what the fuck is a brown bear, you know, bro? Brown bear is real. <laughs> is that real? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas talking shit. Don't know they nature. <laughs> he said a brown bear. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, my God. It sounded like the reason that I knew it was a thing, but the way you said it made it just wait. wait. So black, so okay, brown bear is real, black bear is real. Yeah. Yeah. So that's different from a grizzly bear. Yeah. Yeah. Damn, I don't know shit. (laughs) (laughs) Fuck you talking about? (laughs) Key up one. That is crazy. They have so many names for bears and shit. Panda bear. They all can't be bears, especially the ones that be looking like. I think these scientists be trying to just flex a little bit. It'd be like the Why same. Why is a panda a panda? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Why is a grizzly a grizzly? Why is a gr- Maybe grizzly means something, though. Like, actually means. It means something now that it's associated. If anybody says grizzly, <laughs> it's associated with a bear, right? <laughs> Are we the Nat Geo podcast? Hell yeah. <laughs> no, one time I saw this fucking bird and it had a long ass neck. I was like, damn, I wonder what type of bird it is. And then I looked it up and it's called a long neck bird. <laughs> Niggas just fed up. Like, nigga, I ain't naming that shit. <laughs> <laughs> long neck bird. <laughs> now, I know this one girl with this long ass neck. I'm talking about her neck built like a uh, Gatorade G2 bottle. <laughs> like this. Man, do they even make Gatorade G2s anymore? I don't be seeing them. G2, anymore. yeah, with the with the cap on. Oh it? no, I don't know. I said Gatorade G2. I haven't G2. seen them in a long time. Like the one, the spray bottle uh, Gatorade. Oh yeah, that don't make. That. I just feel like that shit unsanitary. <laughs> you think so? Yeah, I mean, you got the the lip of the thing right there, and it's only protected by a little piece of plastic. You know, some people never sprayed it in their mouth. <laughs> they put their lips right on it and sucked it. <laughs> <laughs> The fuck? You ever seen, you ever think somebody weird? <laughs> yeah, I, look, I don't fuck with them people that be sucking a water bottle. Like sucking the water out their water bottle? Like, nigga, chill. Nigga, chill. And the water be squirting back. I'd be like, nigga, what the fuck? <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Why is that beer so squozy? <laughs> <laughs> You said beer? No, like the water bottle. You know when some people drink their water like. Then they start squeezing like the plastic and shit. Yeah. Oh. Like barbarians. Oh. You do that shit, don't you? <laughs> yeah. I don't <laughs> suck it. I don't suck it. Pause. <laughs> hey, hey, pause, 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 pause. I mean, you say you don't suck it. You good. <laughs> You good? Uh, <laughs> it's so it y'all bad, niggas bro. pause everything. <laughs> you said you sure. don't suck it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga be goblin. <laughs> no, for real. Uh, uh, I got a question for you. Okay. okay. <laughs> Nigga said three bears and didn't know the three bears. Huh? I said you said three bears and didn't know three bears. No, you know you, you knew that. Okay. You won. Oh, okay. you won. Know this podcast. All right. Now okay. let's see. All right. How many dicks pass your mouth today? <laughs> Never. No, I'm saying, how many dicks passed your mouth today? Never. That's not a good answer. Like, <laughs> That's what? a great answer. How? Because never. D- none pass? Never. None of them pass. How many pass yours? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Key up too old. Too old. I thought that joke, I thought that joke would be older. What? What's the joke, though? I remember you talking. How many dicks you pass your zero, mouth today? Then that... Cause if you say none, I mean they all got in. <laughs> if you think of the concept of that joke, it's like it is so that's impossible, but yeah. it's just like <laughs> even if that nigga wanted to, <laughs> it's not possible. <laughs> In so many ways. All right, come on, let's make it three real. All right. Oh, you got what? Me ask you something else? Yeah. Uh What's I can tra- really I can really get you with some shit. I'm trying to be nice <laughs> with the animals and shit because I know your geography fucked up. All now. right, pull out some animals. I watched that. No, no, no. no. I know you can do animals, but oh. I know your geography is fucked up. It might be actually. No, I know it is. Come so on, you, let's you see. know what geography is? 
Things around the world, right? <laughs> <laughs> that's hey, what try that nigga like that. Because <laughs> th- in my head, I thought he What's the capital of Wisconsin? I was going to ask Madison. Him. Uh-huh. <laughs> how, many, how many states are there? Either 50 or <laughs> above 50. Because I, I don't know about Hawaii and I, Puerto Rico how many and Mexico. <laughs> 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 this nigga just put Hawaii with Puerto Rico. And <laughs> <laughs> nigga, what does Mexico got to do it? <laughs> because them different like all right states. It's New no, Mexico I, a state or yeah, a country? It's a state. All right, um, West Virginia, West Virginia, North Virginia, South Virginia, and East Virginia. Which one is fake? Which East, one is not East a state? Virginia, Which yeah. one is not a state? Which one is a state? Which one is not a state? What do you mean? West I, I think all but West Virginia is in a state, right? What? what? <laughs> what? I, I, Your question is terrible. No, right, I'm this, trying to like... Can, you guys are... It's a trick question, Pat. Shut the I fuck know up. it's a trick question. That's why it's terrible. <laughs> no, we should have built the acid. All right. How many Carolinas are there? Two? Okay, this nigga Key can. Uh, That's what I'm look. saying. Uh, he only fucked up about the country part. All right, Pakistan is in what continent? Middle East? <laughs> yeah, there we go. go. Got that nigga. We got to break that nigga down. Yeah, that's right. We just had to get out of America. <laughs> Niggas went off border. Fuck. Where's Russia? What continent is Russia on? <laughs> Europe. <laughs> <laughs> Not in Europe. Russia in Europe. Shout out Putin, man. Shout out Putin. Whoa. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> what is this nigga doing, man? <laughs> I had nothing on the key, bro. Oh my god, man. No, we passed. Putin. But yeah, I'm I'm really smart. I wouldn't say all that. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm really smart. No, I, I seen a status that said, you can pull up a hundred deep, I'm still coming outside. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> what do I, niggas think this is? I was about to say, that'd be my first time calling the cops. Yeah. <laughs> niggas really be thinking they get Rambo and shit. Yeah, that's, I was like, what? Because you see a movie, one guy beating up 10 uh, little, that's why they be hating. They be some hams they be hiring as security guards. Nigga, the super or whoever the main character is always beating up five security guards. Yeah. Like, nigga, what? Because that's just to show how much more superior they are than them. But nah, it's not, it shouldn't be. That shit not real. It, it should be one person. Uh, it could one be. regular nigga beating up ten security people. They're hired. Like you're hired to protect. Yeah, that one regular nigga knows how to beat all y'all ass. I'm just saying, if Jackie Chan would have did that shit in my hood, they would have popped his ass. <laughs> That's okay. not fighting though. I'm just no, saying. Still, I don't think Jackie you fight. Chan. No, you fighting. You, nah. And they be coming up one at one at one a time. time exactly. Hell no. Nah. That's how they gotta come if you, I, if you moving back. <laughs> <laughs> they gonna come one by one. They gotta chase you. Boss. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, why are you even thinking about it like that? Boss. But anyways, Jackie Chan come to your hood. <laughs> Bro, we chopped, man. <laughs> Anyways, okay, seven six Taco Fall, the basketball player. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, just reading the thing. I, said it, tacos, I was so fucking hungry. I was like, this nigga. <laughs> nigga, tacos. Uh, Taco Fall is signing a new deal to return to China to play for the Nanjing. Monkey Kings. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how, that's how, how you pronounce it. Yeah. It ain't but, nothing but black people on that team. But the Monkey Kings is crazy. <laughs> but that's probably just a team name. Hey, it's just, no. it just a coincidence. I, <laughs> I ain't playing for the Monkey Kings. I ain't gonna hold you. That's where I draw the line at. <laughs> yeah. You gotta have some pride somewhere. But you, you got, but you have choices going out there too. A black dude named Taco playing for the Monkey Kings. <laughs> Shit ain't adding up, man. <laughs> nah, I bet you they can't. And they just came out with wings at Popeye's. Something going on, man. <laughs> they just always... came out at, with, with Popeye's? Yeah, some wings. What's the name? That nigga about put that shit in his notes. <laughs> nah. <laughs> no, my girl, stop, Key. You're not writing down. I could have swear you had some no, wings. Where them, You had them good wings from that one day. Uh, Makoko's. Nah, you brought them here. I brought wings here? Yeah. 
It was like some ten. They might have been from Popeyes. It was ghost oh, yeah, pepper. Ghost pepper. Ghost pepper wings from Popeyes. Mm-hmm. That nigga be knowing everything. <laughs> I ain't been to Popeyes in so long. He bought you uh, ghost pepper wings. Nah, he brought them for himself. But <laughs> <laughs> I said, "Hey, my man, <laughs> <laughs> you ain't gonna eat all of that, is you?" <laughs> <laughs> no, nah. salted ass question to ask. No, nah, I'm yeah. tired of like you know. Sometimes like I love like celebrating uh, when. Black people do something, especially if it's like the first black person to, you know, be the captain of a spaceship that's going to Mars or some shit. Right. Sure. So if it's like something like that, I'm all for that. But sometimes it'd be like we doing like it's black people doing regular shit and people like she should get more praise or he should get more praise. I saw this dope uh, this girl. She dope (laughs) as hell. Uh, She on TikTok. She like a flight attendant and somebody like not a flight attendant, a pilot. Mm hmm. And, you know, she does a really good job and she shows like all the stuff she does. And obviously it's like going to be influential to like a black girl that's growing up seeing someone do that. I understand that. But like, y'all be treating us like make a wish kids and shit. Like, (laughs) look at this black girl and shit like that. Like we some like the the monkeys that's like doing human things. Mm -hmm. Like niggas, just do this shit. (laughs) Niggas, stop like, stop acting like nigga discovered the cure for cancer. Nah, the stuff. Because you wouldn't be alive if you discovered the cure for cancer. They said they Some of the things I'd be seeing sometimes it'd be like the first African-American man to... To do this, it'd be like regular shit. Like, yeah. like what? the problem really should be why is he the first uh, black person to do that? That's why I like that. <laughs> and also, th- speaking about that, I love that. I, f- I wish I knew the comedian name because we was talking about, obviously, last episode, we was talking about fighting somebody with a peanut allergy. Mm-hmm. Also, side note, somebody said that they have a strobe. Uh, carry a strobe light because they beefing with somebody with epilepsy. But that's <laughs> fucked up. That's crazy. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Which is mm-hmm. fucked up. But the comedian was saying, I wish I knew his name. He was saying that the inventor of peanuts, uh, peanut butter, is George Washington Carver, which yeah. was a black man, which is like who they try to teach us about to distract us from all the other black inventions. But and white people are the most likely to have a peanut allergy. I was like, did he create that to kill more white people? Whoa, that's actually cold. <laughs> no, not the wrong. concept, not the concept, but just the fact that, like, <laughs> I think you're talking about the concept. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, the concept. Not, oh my gosh. Not him trying to kill oh. white people. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know niggas was diabolical. Back then. I didn't know they <laughs> said not the concept. Then nigga what? <laughs> <laughs> nigga talk about George Washington Carver create uh, the peanut butter thing. <laughs> no nigga, that's the concept. Nigga. <laughs> nah, how many how many haters do you think you have? A lot. You think you got a lot of haters? Yeah. Right. I can I can see why you think that. Why? Like what? Because your music. They hate that they can't make music as good as you? Like, everything. Mm-hmm. Anything. But I don't, like, see it. But I do have message requests with a lot of people hating. Really? Yeah. what they say? <laughs> Just, like, they'll send me the music, and then they'll say, like, I'm trying to imitate somebody, or um, they'll send me, like, my fits. <laughs> <Tell me> about- <laughs> <laughs> You ever think of like some of them like damn this might be constructive criticism this nigga no because when they because I haven't gotten it in a long time because I had like a, the post that's on my Instagram I have a lot more and the ones that they said that about I was like maybe these is ass let me just archive these <laughs> <laughs> on God anytime somebody like before I take it as hate I like take it as like from a a different view like yeah. is this nigga hating. Cause you know it's just sometimes like niggas actually do be hating. I seen the niggas stop by on our videos, like three different videos, and like literally say something negative. Like, yeah. okay, this nigga grandma must have just died or something. Like, <laughs> this My nigga gosh. is depressed. Like, what's wrong with this nigga? <laughs> Where's your dad at? But in that same sense, it's just like, how long can I take you hating on me? It's like, yeah, I'm I'm supposed to ignore it. Yeah. But do I think I have active haters where I could be like, that dude hates everything I do? I don't think I have one. Which I probably do, but I don't think I have one. Yeah, I can't imagine. Because I'm like, I don't know what I did to anybody <laughs> to either. That's what I'm saying. But that's but that's where haters come from. But but there's there's some people that probably just hate. There's some people, obviously, that watch the podcast that probably don't think it's funny at all. Yeah, I mean, it's not, not they, it's not they type of humor. Yeah, yeah. They probably uncircumcised or they're a virgin. <laughs> it's usually what happens when people, when people say why, they don't. Why is, is there anything wrong with beating any of those? 
What uncircumcised? <laughs> Having it? a burrito dick? <laughs> <laughs> is it is it actually something wrong with it? What I think it's unhealthy. Unsanitary. Yeah, I think it's like harder to clean. I don't know what them niggas is. <laughs> I got my job lit back lit. <laughs> 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 niggas got it Bro it's a magic chick Every time they pull their tip out Oh wow <laughs> the Here's fuck? the reveal Look at that <laughs> you know, But What I was trying to say An Alaskan bullworm <laughs> From Swansboro yeah, yeah yeah That's a good reference <laughs> It's is over it? your head <laughs> It's, over, it's head. not over my head Yeah you don't know You don't know Spongebob I know Spongebob Nah Alaskan bullworm you know Mike, Mike was watching Elmo Till he was like 12 <laughs> Not 12 They finally <laughs> stopped that nigga <laughs> No 13 la, 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 I, did, I did try out to be on Barney though You tried out to be on Barney mm -hmm. Barney was gonna Aud Audition <laughs> Barney was gonna tear that ass up <laughs> What did they say to you Why didn't you do it No I just auditioned I just didn't make, didn't make it Nigga uh, you should know Why you didn't do it <laughs> Barney didn't do that to anybody He though. was finna come out that suit <laughs> <laughs> Bro <laughs> You guys are cannot be serious right now. <laughs> Bro. <sighs> Barney said that nigga ain't sexy enough. Get him out of here. <laughs> <laughs> nigga got turned down by Barney, bro. <laughs> Hey, that's a good person to get rejected by. Hell no. Y'all get that getting rejected by regular ass niggas. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Niggas. Oh, niggas. This nigga was trying to get I told you, you get a job and you, you never applied to a job but didn't get the job. That's getting rejected. That's God. not getting rejected. They just they got turned out by Barty. <laughs> <laughs> I watched that shit. I ain't never want to be on that nigga show. I wanted to be on Out of the Box. What's that? What? <laughs> what the out of the box. Oh, out so, of the box. So yeah. long. Yeah. Farewell. I want to. Hey, that was my shit. I wanted to be on that show. I wanted to be Power did, Rangers. Did you ever try, though? Nah. Exactly. That nigga tried to be on Barney and got rejected. That nigga, that nigga didn't get full out. Oh <laughs> Said no, nigga. Oh, my gosh. All right, we can just end it on that, man. <laughs> <laughs> All Turn right. that nigga down. <laughs> Appreciate y'all for listening to this podcast. <laughs> uh, make sure you subscribe for more. Hey, Barty, go, I love you. <laughs> it's going to be a no for me, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Subscribe to everything. This has been episode episode uh, 115 of Crash Dummies Podcast. Man. Peace. Man, shout out to Barney. You a whole ass nigga, though. I ain't going to lie. <laughs>